Here we have the K-Bar Kukri machete. Uh, it seems to be a little thicker than a regular machete, which is good for me because I thought it was a pretty cheap option for Firecraft. I haven't played with the uh, batoning idea of it yet. I haven't really gone out to go camping and make any fires yet, but I just thought we've got an old chair here and we have an old phone book. Let's see what it does. Well, as I thought, didn't really go through very much. I'm still going through though. Still finding more pages. Into and past the maps. Into the special ads. Still finding pages. Still a slit, still a slit, still a slit. <laughs> still a small piece. Okay. So, that much of a phone book, including the tough maps and the cover itself. I had a little bit of WD 40 on here, thanks to, uh, Nothing fancy for his firecraft skills. That's what he uses. I think it helps slice through and put a little more on. Let's try without the thick sections. Let's see here. Come check this out Whoa. right here. Pretty good. That's like a huge chunk. Yeah, um, not thinking that that's going to be friendly to anybody or any attacking animal. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool. And it goes deep because of the blade shape. It just keeps going down. Hmm. I can't really feel any right there, but oh, I see some. Oh yeah, it's still going through. Like same thing as before, just crazy deep in that in that lowest bend. Stop. It's still pretty awesome. We uh, we in Alaska. You know, we have all kinds of animals that can come out and attack. So I'm gonna I'm planning on with my sheath wearing this right here in my backpack. Taking it if I need it. But uh I'm pretty impressed. Yeah.